guys. Today I got my top four uh, split uh, apes deck profile. My Adventure Phoenix Elwood Souls deck. I'm going to get right into it. A lot of stuff standard, so I wanted to explain it. But a few things I will. Shout out to my teammates, Brock and Sean. I really feel like if they didn't force the split with everyone, we really could have won the event. But free water check, standard. The one Griffin. I really think I'm going to play the second one. Because I played Baron in the extra deck. You know, this plus hand trap. Make Baron. If you end with the right still, you can special the other one that you search all during your opponent's turn, which my friend did. He didn't play the second one, but he like ended with his braid token and his full board. He's playing virtual braid token. And then summon this during his opponent's turn after his appeal got dropped with for four cards. And he summoned that out and they get the last card, and then it's like he just won. Okay, now we play the best draw engine in this deck that's not a pop card. Uh, three Magician Souls and two Illusion of Chaos. Uh, this card, if you don't know what it does, you reveal it in your hand. You basically search for this. You search for any, any card with Dark Gist in its decks. And then put a card back on top of your deck. It doesn't have to put itself. You can put back a brick. And then keep the, keep this in hand for follow-up, which I like to do a whole lot. Because I'll play like four brick cards. that I, or, or five. Five or three. I don't know how you look at it. Because I call this a brick. Because I don't want to see this card in my hand. I hate seeing this guy. I really want to play one. My teammates won't let me play one. But Golden Lord. Now for other bricks, uh, Celestial Dasher, got a plan for DP. I think about cutting these guys for Red Eyes and Dark Magician, just because I played a lot of Monkey Mirrors, and it's just like uh, BLS Link and Red Eyes Dragoon would be like just instant ones basically. Now for hand traps, I'll play two Ghost Ogre, uh, two Bell, two Ash. I want to play all cards stop the Brave Engine since the Brave Engine pretty much is the only thing I'm really scared of because they stop all my Floodgate trap cards I play. It's like, these guys all overperformed. I mean, I played a lot of Monkey Mirror, so this one didn't do too much. But, you know, these guys, they stop Scarlet. And it's like, if you stop Scarlet in the mirror, you're winning. The one across the Outland, I played one. So if I sell it with Souls, it's like crazy. I was on this card one time. When he came up, I almost won. My opponent top deck a droplet, which is the one thing that saved him. Because so I was really alone in life. He was just able to attack, droplet. Any ones, and I was like, Yeah, but this card plus souls, you know, you can activate this card, search a card, uh, souls pitch it, draw another card, and then use effect when it gets sent, uh, mill a card, and the ancient end face at Scarlet. So it turns like this card plus souls into like a plus three combo, and also plus four if you send another card that's that's a Elwich card or a Draco Beck because it, it will re equip itself if you control a grave token. And anyway, speaking of Draco Beck, here's Draco Beck. This card's insane. It's a free bounce every turn on your turn. Also, you can equip this to Black Hero or Conquistador, because they also serve as non effect bouncers, the bounce card. This card bounced a DP, which made me end up winning a match, which is really good. I would never cut this card. Everyone, if you play the Raven, has to play this card. Oh, uh, One Faithful Adventure. Card that uh, lets you search a Griffin or let you search this one of you normal summer special. And also, it lets you search this place on the field whenever a monster is summoned. So if you have no monster summon, and you have the right, and the right activates this, you know, you can just end on that, and you know, put it in the put token in the fence, you know, activate this off the rights, and then just pass. If you want to summon the monster, activate effect, equip this. And, you're playing, and if you're playing a slower deck, you know, they probably will forget about that, and they probably won't be able to kill a token. I mean, it could come up, most times it won't, but just so you know, it triggers off of your point summoning monsters too. And then, you know, when you search the Griffin or the Water Check, you know, discard an Elch card, you get free value off of that. Now, three rights of Armors here, summons a Brave Token, and then activates the Faithful. Standard. Uh, two Fusion Dusting. Standard. It's that too. Wish we could play three, but it's that too. Uh, two Forbidden Droplet. I play a lot of Monkey Decks, so this card really wasn't, like, too, like, prevalent. It would always be sided up. The majority of my, my matchups was that whole entire day. But I feel like just because PK Braves in the format, you need to play this card, stop Scythe Luck. Even though, even the Elder Mirror around six was playing uh, Scythe. I didn't draw this card, I had to go spell for it since he didn't end on any gate with it. As it goes spelled, and I was able to play. But it's like, I feel like I might side this card. Now, four trap cards uh, three Scarlet, standard, uh, three Conquistador. This standard, even I want to play two. If I want to minimize my Elder Ginger, I want to play one Lord. I want to play two of this, and I want to play one my hero. Even though on this list I'm playing two. All this is pretty damage just for the base to Eldritch package. 
I really want to minimize it because I'm tired of seeing like Eldritch cards. It's like you don't see Eldritch cards with souls, it's like it just feels really bad because it's like really slow to start. So it's only really good if you're going first. If you're going second, it just like feels really bad. Unless you open up one of these guys too, like Skill Drain, this card's insane. And then Dirt Away one. This card's also insane. These two cards beat any deck that is not playing Brave stuff because Brave stuff plays under that stuff so well. Now for extra deck, Generator Token. For Link 1 to play Anima, we play Link Spider. Link Spider for Keystore, Wakero, Standard. Anima for Souls, because you need know, Link Souls off. If they put some extra bounce on you, Snatch Duel it. A Bear Keyboard Blocker, Phoenix, Anaconda, and the Twins for all the Link 2s. The twins are the twins. You know, Dark can stop, uh, can steal DP if you make it. Because you make this with Souls plus anything. And you make this one with like Wakero, Keystar, or Lord plus anything. Or, or Ghost Ogre too. And Akana gets DP. Phoenix for going for game. Bear Keeper Blocker, discard a card, Epic, Faithful, or Curse of Land, Which is pretty cool in phase. Never came up, but just this nice card to have. Because it's like you lose Faithful. Most times you like lose Griffin Negate coming back every turn. And that's like, you put yourself in a, in a slower, even slower position. Now for Link 3, play Selene. And BLS Link. Now BLS Link was crazy. Love the card. It's a lean late game. If you're able to make souls and get more value off it when going for game, just to secure it. It's pretty cool. Uh, Link 4, Exo Talker, you know. Selene goes into this, you know, banish, banish, banish. Go for game. Because this plus, like, lore from the graveyard, it's like, uh, 88, I want to say, 53, 35, 88, yeah, in this game. And now for Xyz Monsters, Gustav Max, uh, Jerkonaut Leave, and Seeks. This is just also another another option for going for game. Uh, these guys came up one time yesterday when going for game. You know, I lined up, uh, opponent's Golden Lord, took it, made this, made this, tag, tag. Scoop it up. And then for our Fusions, we played the one DP. And for our Synchros, we played the one Floor. Uh, hand trap plus uh, one in Griffin Rider makes this. So it's like you don't end with like a uh, negate. This can make you leave in with the negate. And the discard sticks your next turn and you draw like a, a right. You can activate rights, do your plays, you know, pop a card. During their standby phase, you can shuffle this back, summon out Griffin Rider. Now for our side deck uh, three Lancia, standard, stops the best decks in the room. Uh, drool, also standard, stops uh, anything that's on like searching, but it also stops the brave engine. You know, they add rights off the water check, you know, and I do enough to pass that one. Uh, Lava Golem, an evenly match. That's my two card combo for combat and the brave stuff because like brave was everywhere, even though me personally in my matches, I didn't play that much brave. I played a lot more monkey mirrors, but it's like in theory, you want all these cards to stop brave because it's like brave is just so good right now, it's so prevalent. It's like literally almost everywhere at these big tournaments. And then we have three judgment. This card says Jesus says no to every card that outs my board. And the anti spell says no to every card that would out this card by saying no to everything else. Uh, and that's it. And my matches were I played against uh, Brave Print Kids. I won that matchup. I played against uh, round two. I played against PK. I ended up losing that matchup. I played uh, round three. I played against uh, Elwich. Uh, we ended up drawing. It's like I had me in our battle phase. It was like it was kind of dry. I was winning that match. So it irritated me a little bit. Uh, round four, I played against PK again. PK Brave. Or no, this one, I don't think this was a Brave PK. This was like a PK Infernoble or PK uh, Asodi build that played Dragoon. Uh, we ended up not finishing that match. Uh, round five, played against Elwich. I won that matchup. Uh, round six, I played against like this like list, like the souls, the Phoenix Force, or everything. Uh, and I won that matchup too. And I won that match without even seeing my own souls. So that just says like how crazy this deck is, especially combat, like the mirror match, because it's like souls should be like the most important card, and just getting to like uh, the Black Luster Soldier, just because this card's like almost like un 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 unbeatable. But I always get to clutch that out, which is really good. And then my top eight, I played against Numeron OTK. And I won that match. Thank you guys for watching. 
shout out to my teammates, Sean and Brock. Hopefully, I record their profiles later on this week if they want to do one. They show me if they're playing. Uh, my friend Rock was playing Virtual Break Token. My friend Sean was playing uh, Adam Expeders. Shout out to them again. Rats on top. Shout out to Mark. Love the teammate who's playing in the tournament with some randoms. He got hoed out. So it sucks. His, his, his teammate just, just left on him. Shout out to my team, Team Low Expectation. You know, shout out to all the guys. Thanks you guys for watching. And peace out.